Hey everyone, this is XAP, and welcome to my M-I-N-E-C-R-A-F-T-W-O-R-L-D. Yeah, been working on that intro for a while. But you can see here, uh, well it was just like a few seconds ago, that mob farm went up to like 50 or so mobs. That is pretty good, and that is because... I've been doing a lot of caving around there, down the mine shaft, and hmm, I'm Steve. Great, I think my internet's broken at the moment. Oh well. Um. Anyways, in other news, look at this. This here is another completed farm. So yeah, I duplicated these over there. It seems like every single time I change the dispenser bits up top. We use some of our under pearls to get up there. Let's see. Oh. Yep. Alright. So up here. Yep, it's the same like any other one. Alright. Oh, got stuck in the glass there. I think this one's slightly different. No, I think I copied that. Um, these two are the same. Where the water spences out here, goes down there and splits off and Yada yada, but over there it's slightly different, I think. Can we get that? Can we get that? Uh oh. That wasn't good. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Alright. Well, who cares, anyways? Oh, uh. so that's what I've been busily doing. Uh, that's about it, really. I did do some caving, but I already mentioned that. I think it's because it's night. Oh, wow, look at the entity count. Top left corner, 55. That's good. The rates are improving really well. Remember how it used to only be like 20 mobs at a time? Now it's boosted up. Let's see, what's melting down here? Oh, goodies. Alright, well, today... I had a suggestion and a comment a few episodes back, and someone suggested I should make a blaze farm. Yeah, and I think that's a good idea. We should. Because when we fought that ender dragon, we, um, died pretty badly from not only the ender dragon and endermen, but the blazes too. Yep. Oh yes, um, over here. This animal farm, I'm going to tear it down. It is horrible. I should have taken um, the advice and should have not built this. It's horrible. Like, doesn't work at all. Like, all the cows keep falling down there. All the adult cows. If I don't stand correctly, like if I'm only like a split pixel off, it's messes everything up. So look, I've got a fresh new sword here. But, so I've just been breeding cows down here, and that's probably what I'll do. I do have another farm design where it'll be a lot more, um, friendly. A lot more friendly and organic. Not so, you know, machine-like, where we have cows trapped in these trap doors, and, you know. So yeah, um, today I wanted to work on the bla a blaze farm. Probably going to use Ethos blaze farm. It's probably the best one I've seen there. Um, we don't really need it to be a blaze XP farm due to the fact that we have the Enderman XP farm. This has got this egg farm's going really fast. Yeah, you know, I think there's like a hundred or so chickens up there. Yeah, and there's like a hundred or so chickens. No. 70, 70 ish chickens there. Uh, it's reminding me of the good old days right there. Alright. So, I might go over to the nether and we'll show you guys some stuff. Alright, we're entering the nether with nothing. Now, um, when I was going to the end for some XP, um, 
Something terrible happened. Um, uh, what happened was I was enderpearling across here, coming back from that portal, and while doing that, I threw an enderpearl off. But I reached the portal in time, so I think the enderpearl was like unloaded or something. So I'm thinking I should get teleported, but maybe it's gone. I have no idea. I have a feeling it's like in the lava. And it's slowly falling down to the bottom. But I think we're actually pretty safe. Alright. Well, this is um, the nether fortress we've seen previously. Over somewhere that way there is that amazing nether fortress where it's basically a lava lake and there's heaps of um, nether brick areas and stuff. So what we want to do is we can actually recollect our stuff now. And, yep, I guess it's safe now. Whew. Well, I'll meet you guys back there. Wow, guys, look at that, 76. That is probably the mob count there. That's amazing. Whew. Well, I've resupplied. What I'm doing now is I am um, trying to brew up some potions. So I've created over here some awkward potions by putting in nether wart and some water bottles. And if we put magma cream in here, it should... Yeah. Um, there's a, I think there's a bug right now. Like if I look at this, look, it's not doing anything. But look. See? See? It just freezes when I look into the brewing stand. Which makes no sense, but oh well. So that mango cream should make us some fire-resistant potions for three minutes. We want those because um, we don't want to get killed. Now, if we put in a piece of redstone. So this is for all the new people who haven't done anything with potions before. Redstone will make this um, potion effect last longer. So right now it's at 3 minutes, and it should get boosted up to, I think, 8 minutes. I think there's a few glitchy items there. Oh, half of this is glitchy yeah. items. That's, yeah. that's why I bet it is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Alright, hopefully our stuff should be done now. Let's see here. Here we go. Pushing on fire resistance for eight minutes. Local brewer. Blah, 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 blah. Local brewer. I can't say that word. Can't say that word at all. I'm not going to try again. You guys are already laughing at me too much. Even when I say brewing stand. Oh, well. I think I said it right that time. Oh, well. Yeah. It's, it's a difficult word. Anyways, um, we've got lots of stone here, so to have a blaze farm, we want to disable the blaze spawner first. Alright, so we'll have to meet you guys over there, and I'm going to look into the blaze stuff. Alright, we're here, um, we're probably going to do this out of stone bricks. Fire? No. No, nothing bad. Nothing bad yet. Alright. Over here. Um, there it is. There's the blaze spawner. That's pretty close by. There's another one over there as well. Alright. Gas as well. That's wonderful. Ooh. How come I haven't clicked that yet? Huh. Oh well. Alright. So we want to take this down. Alright. We got it. Chug the fire resistant potion. This is the first potion I've had in this world, so amazing. Okay, so what we want to do is build a little case around it. Like this. Alright. Ow. 
stupid thing. Take out the fences. Come on, fences. Don't want you. Hopefully this doesn't turn out bad. Those blaze fireballs, they don't do anything at the moment because we've got fire resistant on me. Um, but they they do they can do uh, 0.5 hearts of damage, I think. If we're like unlucky or something. Alright, where's the actual spawner? Okay. Oh boy, there's more of them. Alright, pause. Alright, let's regroup our thoughts. Alright, now what I want to do is find the way that's going up. Um, this way. This way's going up. These two directions. Alright, so we're going to go one, two, wait, one, two, three. This side needs to be four blocks long. Bam, bam, how much fire is this? Well, we still have a lot of fire resistance left. And we want to go out another block this way. Oh, rushing this. Alright. Cool, that should be that should be disabled now. Awesome. I think that's disabled. Yes, got him. Alright, where are the rest of them? I hear more. Why is that? Alright, we should be able to dig underneath the spawner. Cool. It's it's disabled now. Oh. Ah. No. Okay, it's not disabled yet. What have I done wrong? Oh, this side's only one. This I mean this side's only two two blocks. Um thick here. Bum bum. Done. Bam. Problem solved. Oh, hello. Okay, he's just going to be annoying. Alright. So that's the blaze spawner deactivated. Cool, that's how you do it. You want to place blocks around it so that absolutely nothing can spawn. These are also the spawning areas. Come on, I wanna... Uh. Alright, let's... Let's try something here. Oh, no, I can't do it anymore. Huh. Weird. Okay, back up there. Alright, so now we've got that deactivated. The only thing we have to worry about is with the skeleton, zombie pigman, and... What? How? How? How did you... Okay, come over here. Don't be spawning on that side. All right, let's try and do this. Where is the central spawner? Maybe it's on this side. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. oh, nope, 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 nope. All right. Um, that was so mean. Those blazers! How could they knock me off? How rude. Alright, we'll have to regenerate here. Have to meet you guys back in a bit. Okay, stuff waiting. Can't be bothered. Oh, alright. Let's get back up. They're still shooting at me. Alright, back up here we go. Oh no! Why didn't I. Bring a bow. Uh-oh. 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 Jump up there. Oh, I have to use my stone bricks. Unfortunately. No. Yo. Thank you. Come on, guy. I want to hit him with my sword. Alright. Let's try and... Oh, no. Can't take that. That's a lame shot. Oh! Come on at me! Why? Back! Oh, gust here, gust here! 
Those are so rare. Oh, great. We still have the blazes to worry about. Alright, well, we're back up here anyways. Whew. Well, that was eventful. Um, two minutes left. Alright. Let's fix that up. So it's on this side. Bam, bam, bam. Let's just make a humongous cube right around it. And if that doesn't work, then... No, it, it should work. We'll just do a humongous cube around it. Then that should solve a problem. Alright. Because, oh. um, if, if you're wondering why I'm putting a this around it... Oh my gosh, did I get two gas tears? Yes. Gas tears can be made into regeneration potions. Alright. That should have solved it. Hopefully. If that hasn't, then, um... Come on, can't reach him. Alright. Just forget about him. Uh, oh, okay. I thought I only had one interpol left. Alright, Alright, so now nothing should spawn. Hopefully. We let's put another fire resistance on our bar just in case something bad happens. We don't need torches around here. Because um blazers can spawn at like light level fourteen or less and um light level thirteen or less or something. Blaze. Alright. Um alright, so let's see which way we had to go to block it off. It's the way that's going... Is it the way that's going downwards or the way that's going upwards? I'm sure it's the way that's going up. So, going this way... Um, this makes our X coordinate go down. I mean Z. Z goes down if we walk that way. And if we walk this way, our X goes um, up as well. Both of them go up if I go this way. See that? Yeah. They both, they both go up. If more spawning... No, those are still the old ones. Alright, what I'm going to do is go back, collect some more stuff, and we'll be back in the nether. Okay, guys, um, I finished this a lot. Unfortunately, while I was giving progress updates and stuff on this, um, I wasn't recording, so that was pretty stupid. But, uh, things I got wrong was, it actually needs to go up, I mean down. So it was actually on these sides that we needed to do it, not those two. That was my mistake. So, we've got a chest here, stashed away some of our stuff. Awesome. Got a nice lookout, and it goes all the way down there so far. So, wow. That, that was a lot of waste of time with me just rambling when I realize I'm not actually recording. Oh well. Oh well. We'll get over it. Okay. So, I want to do the redstone wiring. To finish it off, we need the redstone wiring. For this farm. This is Ethos Blaze Farm. If you don't realize that already. Um, link in the description for his farm as well. Because it's probably the best Blaze Farm out there. Gotta be careful, because this is, um, yeah, one block thick. Bum bum bum. Okay, man, those gas are crazy. Alright, so, what I said before, when I wasn't recording, is that I'm not going to have, like, a um, system to turn on and off the spawning or not, because... What I can do is I can just walk away and the stuff inside here should despawn. And yeah, if you're far enough away, the spawn won't be activated. So I don't really need that. And since this blaze farm isn't really for XP, all we need to do is wire it up so that these close up first. Then it pushes it and then it crushes it. And then I flip the lever and yeah. So that's what we need to do. The lever to sh we can put a lever right here for it. Unfortunately, I don't have a lever. Oh, hey, a magma, 
magma, um, magma cube. There is another blaze spawner over there. Um, unfortunately, they're too far away to have a dual blaze spawner. So that really sucks. But this, this is good so far. So, I'm going to go get a lever and we'll be back in a bit. Lever place. Alright. That was our lever I found. Let's see here. Ooh, be careful. There we go. That should power that. Yep. Yep. All good so far. Alright, so outside here, what we want to do is power the glass first. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Mm -hmm. And what I should do is make sure to cover this redstone up, just in case it gets blown up by things that are annoying things. Annoying little gas. Alright, let's extend this out a block. And what we can do. Bang. Ta da! Alright, so that, that should get to that. Mm -hmm. And that's got glass on it. Oops, I broke it. Alright, so that should power the one with the glass. Is that correct placement of blocks? Yeah. Okay. And then, after... Maybe... Ooh, four ticks. No. It needs to be longer than that. Alright. So we're going to put two repeaters here. That's going to be on four. So what we want to do is that closes off, then the next thing closes off. This might be take a while. Oh man, I keep breaking stuff. All right. Hopefully I remember to record the next part, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Um. Okay. I. Th it might be complete. I'm not sure. Uh. Not too sure if this is gonna work. It's pretty fast. It, no, well, the wiring, the timing's very fast. So when I flip the lever, it's going to close off the gates, then push the blazers in, then crush them. And yeah, I just leave that till they die, and then I flip the lever again. Pretty basic, I guess. But is it going to be too fast? So if a blaze falls down here, they all collect here. They stop it first. That's the first thing I want, and then. I think it's between when they get pushed and then crushed. We'll have to do some testing to see. But, uh, I'm not going to cover up the wiring, can't be bothered. I'll just cover up as much as I can. There we go. So, behind there. Nope! Don't want another fail like last time. That was real close. Okay, let's get back up again. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Ow. Ow. Don't push me there. So, uh... The wiring... Oh, yep. Yeah, it goes around there. We'll probably be able to see it from a lot clearer from here. So you can see the wiring comes along here, goes to that, and the other side, and yeah. No, oh, let's not risk it again. Okay. Alright, down here. Alright, let's never go back out there again. So let's just block that all off, and say we're never going back out there. Alright, so that's good enough. Now, not the best, still have to do a lot of stuff around it. A lot of my projects, I haven't, I've just basically done like an outline of them, and then I haven't done, you know, anything. Whoa. Oh, holy, oh, man, 
Those guys scared me. Like, they came from nowhere. Thank goodness to my smite for a sword. Alright. Um, anyways. Let's get that light out of there. Uh, so, uh, mo most of my projects I've done, they don't look that great. They're, they're, basi they're basic. Like this. It doesn't look that great from the outside, you know. This, this isn't actually supposed to be there, the glass. I accidentally put that in. Doesn't look the greatest, um, the area around it isn't that great. You know, like the wheat farm, I say I need to put that glass wall in with the pixel art. Um, yeah, still haven't gone around to doing that. So, next episode, I think it's going to be an episode dedicated just for that. Just for fixing things up, making things look nicer around. So, for now, this is the part you've all been waiting for. I know. Alright. Okay. This is the last piston. Um. Uh. Okay. That worked. Let's see some dirt. I don't want to use up all my stone bricks. No, can't. If I break that. We all know what's going to happen. It's going to they're going to start spawning in like crazy. All right, this is our escape route. Cool. We have an escape route. Nice. All right. Let's chug down this. Okay. Time to do it. Go down. Go down. Ow. Ow. No, 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 no. Come on, keep going, keep going. Break away, break this away. Uh, I'm not going to really care about all the blocks on the ground. Who cares about them at the moment? Right now we're focused on... Come on, seriously? Nope, don't want to break the spawner. That's the most important thing. If we break the spawner... Oh. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. That was not smart. Alright, get back up there. Hope they're not all escaping. Is there supposed to be a ring around there? I don't know. But I guess um, if blazes do sp spawn on top of there, it's going to help out. Um, if one lands there and... Ow. Stop it. Come on, almost broken. Almost there. I don't want to break the glass either. Guys, seriously. Oh. Alright. Get on my face. The last block, bam, we're done. What we want to do as well is do that. Uh, I do that just to prevent any blazes from spawning on top of the spawner. Yeah, good enough. All right, let's get rid of that. Come on, guys. Seriously. Don't want any fires in here. Okay, get out. Do we... Did we? Did we finish it? Oh, we don't want that there. I think... I think it... That's it! I think we did it. Alright, well, there's still those blazes there that want to kill me, so... Let's kind of lure them down here. Ow. Ow. That kind of works, I guess. Uh, that's quite n noisy. Oh, man. Wait, do that? I think they only drop blaze rods if you hit them. Let me 
Let's test that out. Uh, maybe I do have to turn it into an XP farm. That's gonna really suck. That really sucks. I really didn't want it to be an XP farm, but unfortunately, Blaze rods are only dropped when you kill them. Alright. Well, learnt something today. That really sucks. Man. Alright. Well, I guess I'll meet you guys back at home. The hometown. Well, we're back. And it's raining, like usual. So, it means I'm going to have to set up one of those button crushing systems, so it'll have to be turned into an XP farm to get the blaze rods. Which sucks. Didn't really want to have to do that, but looks like we're going to have to. But that's going to be... Uh, another project that's going to be left behind. I'm going to have to do that another time, like a lot of things. A lot of things need some cleaning up. Stuff to be done around everywhere. Let's throw some of these away. Got a lot of stone now. Ow. I've been uh, mining uh, in the mine shaft using Silk Touch. So, yeah. We do have a lot of nether brick now, so I'm thinking maybe we could do some cool stuff with that. Alright. Oh, thunder. Whoa! First person... Well, first time I've ever seen lightning that close up before. As long as I don't get the chickens. It's like fine. There we go. Alright, well, I'm going to check the time in this episode, so be right back. Wow, it's been longer than I expected. Alright, well, I'm going to end that there for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Next time we are going to make things look nicer, we're going to modify things, add a little few touches to everything to make it a lot nicer. So, see you guys then. Peace out.